Striding in, Ahmed Rosario. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Got him in the chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. And it can be a real left field and deep. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Not exactly. At the plate, Jake Marisnik, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the pitch. Nope. One out, nobody on. Two balls and no strikes to the Mets center fielder. Three and oh now. Ground ball right side. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Now this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now. And blew that fastball right by him. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. So digging in now, Brandon Lau. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, number eight. The pitch. Hard hit ball to second. He's right there. One away. So one away here with the bases empty. And that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. Kiermeyer. First pitch on its way. Yank fouled off to the right. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball one taken just off the inside. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So bases are empty here with two gone. That and up hurt. next will be the right handed hitting Jose hitter. Martinez. Jose. First pitch of the at bat Martinez. on its way. Count one and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. One ball, one strike to count. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a liner. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Batting four. The right fielder. At the plate now, Austin Meadows. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Hit hard to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Second inning set to go. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jeff McNeil. The second baseman, number six. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now 
now. Here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Kiermaier to the track. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. That is it. The catcher, number 40, Wilson. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. All even now, two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Helpful. Outside in a full count, three and two. Swing and a soft liner, and this will be put away easily for the out. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Conforto. First pitch on its way. In there, strike one. Outside for a ball, one and one. From the stretch. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Man at second here with two away, and into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Nope, ball one. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and he'll dive back in. One and oh, here it is. A bouncer up the middle. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Now a long throw home, and not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. The left fielder, number Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. One and one. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. A step on second for the force, and that'll do it. Here now is Mike Zanino. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The catcher. Mike. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up the corner infielder, G Man Chor. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Batting seven. No left fielder. So now Hunter. to the plate, Hunter Renfro. Renfro. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. We're in the second, 1 0 Mets early on. Lined hard toward right center, and that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Batting it, the third baseman. Joey, Joey Wendell go. digs in now, and he fouls this one off. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Oh, one pitch on its way. One ball, one strike. Runners are at the corners with one man out. 
Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. So stepping in, Willie Adamas, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. No balls and a strike to count. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Adamas tends to have more success against right handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better, but that's the book on him at this point. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Lau. And he'll be tasked with bringing home the potential tying and go ahead runs, both of which are standing in scoring position. Slow grounder to first. He's got it. The tag, and he is out. Now to the plate, the Mets DH, Robinson Cano. The designated hitter. Cano waits on the first pitch. Turned on down the line, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here it comes. 0 and 2 now as Cano comes up empty on that one. The MO of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. Now batter. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Left side. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. The center field, number 16. Here's Jake Marisnik. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Into the box now. Pete Alonzo looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. From the stretch. A one count. Here's the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Rosario leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. In the dirt here. And boy, he didn't quite know what to do on that one, but he's lucky to barely get back at first. He's set. Here's the three and two. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Leading off the inning, Kevin Kiermeyer, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Kiermeyer. Skied in the air to straightaway left. There to take it is Cespit is one away. Now at the plate, Jose Martinez. One for one after a single this first time up. Here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Hit on the ground is short. On to first and very quickly two are gone here in the home third. So bases are empty here with two gone and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. First delivery to him on the way. 
Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya! Now batting. Catcher. So here's Mike Zanino. And it's fouled away. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Ball, that's out. Line drive to left. That gets down, and the inning will continue. Now batter. G Man Choi, the next to hit. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. A base hit in his first trip. 0 oh, 1 pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender. 0 oh, 2. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one? Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jeff McNeil, as we begin the top of the fourth. Number six. First offering on its way. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for route number one. The bat. So the base is empty the here with one away. Wilson. And next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls in one strike. One run on three hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. This one's down to third. On to first and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. So coming to the plate Michael Conforto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And no one will get this one. One run on three hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Swing and a looper to left. In there, a base hit. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. Now batting. The third base. J.D. Davis the next to bat. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. Now a throw over. Don't want to forget about him. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Digging in, Hunter Renfro. He reached on a single in his first try. The left fielder. Now here it comes. Renfro. Just a tick behind for a strike. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92. You can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. The next 0 2. Out in front there is this one's pulled off to the left side. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Ready now, Joey Wendell reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. 
pitch on the way. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder is on the run. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Willie Adamas looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now the pitch. At the knees, strike one. Two out, nobody on. Driven deep at the wall. It is gone. Now to the plate now, Brandon Lau. As he rips it on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So here's Joanna Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The left fielder. Joanna Cespedes. He's ready. Here's the first offering. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Ball that's outside. And right into the shift. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Cano waits on the first pitch. Robinson Cano comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. Two balls and no strikes to the Mets DH. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. And in the left field for a one out hit. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. The batter, number one. Short stop. Into the box now, Ahmed Rosario, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. One for two in the ball game thus far. On a rope to the second baseman, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Stepping into the box, Jake Marisnik. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. He comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Two mid 90s fastballs and you're down 0 2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pop. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. For the Ray, the center fielder. Kevin Ready to deliver. Here's the first Kiermaier. pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. After it is Cespedes, and no one will track it down. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball just inside. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Under it is Marisnik, one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. Here comes the first pitch. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. 2 0 now. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Fly ball heading for the alley. 
And that is down as that could be two bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now batting right fielder Austin. At the plate Austin Meadows as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's working on a one for two game so far. And that misses one and one. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. To two and two now. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So here's Pete Alonzo. He'll be the first to the plate for the Mets in their half of the sixth. Alonzo. Pitch on the way. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job than this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So here's Jeff McNeil. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Pitch popped up. Wendell has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. Digging in once again, Wilson Ramos. A line out and a ground ball for an out on his line so far. First pitch on its way. Ground ball left side. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. The right fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. As he'll take a look at ball one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. One ball, one strike. And that's swung on and missed on a pitch down, one and one. On its way is pitch number 75. Oh. And a pitch down that's swung on and sent to second base. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Ready once again, G-Man Choi. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Into the box now, Hunter Renfro. He's a silver caliber player, but don't let the lack of rarity fool you. This is a guy who hits for serious power. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Ball, that's in. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Even two and two <laughs> count to Hunter Renfro. Of course, there was a fastball. Ah, uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Now at the now plate, battle. Joey Wendell. He flew out in his last at bat. Wendell. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 
There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Going back is the right fielder. You can kiss it goodbye. Come In back. now, Number Willie one. Adamas. Good stop. Willie. And he'll promptly Not send coming. it in the air out to center field. Right fielder coming on. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, J.D. Davis. And they'll need him to get something going here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Andrew Kittredge is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. ready here's the first offering high and deep to right center Meadows moving back he gets to it and makes the catch for the first out here's you on Cespedes 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon from the stretch here's the pitch line drive to left Renfro is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Now to the plate now is the designated hitter, Robinson Cano. He's one for two in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line hard to center field. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. He's around first, heading for two. And he is in the second with a two out double. The bat, number one, shortstop Ahmed Rosario. So now to the plate, Ahmed Rosario, nope, as he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, one and all. Oh. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. On he pops it up. Lau is calling for it, and that's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Last half of the seventh here, so the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brandon Lau, he's hitless in three at bats to this point. Strike one to start the at bat. 0 1, here's the pitch. Hit down the line at first. And he is out on the tag. One out now in the Tampa Bay seventh. And that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. Kiermeyer. Here's the first pitch to him. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay throw, and it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. Now back, the designated hitter. At the plate Jose. now, Jose Martinez. Martinez. As he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone, one strike to count. So far, two for three in this one. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Next up for New York, Jake Marisnik. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. Jake Marisnik. He's set and the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And the eighth will start with a bang as this should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Up next to the back, 
Anthony Banda is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Alonso, your attention, please. Now pitching for the Rays, number 53, Anthony. To the plate now, Pete Alonso. Banda. And he'll swing and send a chopper to third. Ball's there, and he is out at third. And he'll reach second now with one away. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Jeff McNeil. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Oh I love that pitch right there up and in jam sandwich hops this one up and he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. So a crucial moment here and standing in Wilson Ramos but a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And a ball 1 0. Now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Spin and a throw back to second. And the runner back. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Kiermeyer's got a read on it, and the inning is over. Next to battle be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Austin Meadows, who has sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their... Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. And that one is gone! At the plate, now Mike Sanino. Bat explodes as this has popped Gino. up. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting. Standing the in, G Man Choi. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He pulls this one into right. Conforto is there, two down. At the, the plate, Hunter Renfro. The he went down on strikes last Hunter. time up. Renfro. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0 1. 
What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Looking up is Cespedes. Adios, pelota. And that'll bring up now Joey Wendell. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Into right field, that's a base hit. Now batting. Not Standing in now, Willie really? Adamas. That's and now a stoppage here as a balk has been called. And that could wind up being a costly one as it'll move that base runner into scoring position now with two away. High and deep to left center field. Marisnik going back at the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Now batting. Number eight. Stepping in now, Brandon Lau. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Hard hit towards center. That gets down and the inning will continue. And this one will bounce into the wall. The runner from second crosses the plate. Up next for Tampa Bay, the center fielder. So here's Tampa. Kevin Kiermeyer. Kiermeyer. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Up next for Tampa Bay, the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. Now a quick move here to step off and look the runner back. In now, Jose Martinez hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Here's the 0 1 pitch. This is popped up. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. Here's the 0 and 2. One ball, two strikes. Hit on the ground toward the left. Rosario's got it cleanly. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. Striding in to start the ninth, Michael Conforto. And they'll need him to get something going here. First offering on its way. And he takes ball one. Count one and oh. That evens it up one and one. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Liner toward right center, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Now this is cut and thrown to first, and now he'll try and scurry back to first, but the throw rings him out to dry. Bad base running mistake there for out number one. So now to the plate, J.D. Davis. He swings and sends a bullet to right field, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Mets down to their final out now. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Ioannis Cespedes. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. Kiermaier is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, listen, you don't always want your closer to have to go two innings on a regular basis, but in this game, it was necessary for this one, and he had just enough to get the job done. Seven to one the final today. 
The Rays took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Blake Snell is the winning pitcher of record.